Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here with Mastering Inside Sales. And today we're gonna to talk through two magic questions you can use to help get clients off the fence and moving forward with you today. All right, question number one is simply, what would need to happen in order for you to, and then fill in the blank. For example, perhaps you're working with a customer and you want to set an appointment for them to meet with the team. You could simply say, what would need to happen in order for you to be comfortable meeting with our team today? Their answer is gonna tell you exactly what you need to do in order to help this client move forward. Another example could be, perhaps you're out showing houses to a client, you really feel you found the perfect house that fits their criteria, and yet they're hesitant. You can say to them, what would need to happen in order for you to write an offer on this home today? See what they have to say. All right, question number two is really a two part. So the first part is you're going to remind them of their motivation, and then you're going to ask them, how does it benefit you to wait? So this would be for the client who, whenever you talk to them, they say, you know, I think I'm just gonna wait a couple months. I'm not quite ready to do this. So what does this sound like? Let's say you're talking with a client and they said that they really wanna retire, move to the beach, downsize and have more time with their grandkids. So what you could say is, hey, I, I remember that you told me you wanted to downsize, move closer to the beach to spend more time with your grandkids. Yet I'm also hearing you say that you wanna wait six months. I'm curious, how does it benefit you to wait? And as they answer you, you're gonna learn a couple things. One, they might have a legitimate reason why they need to wait, in which case we know this is a lead to follow up with. The other option could be that they don't have an answer. Oftentimes the question of, hey, how does it benefit at you to wait will help them self-discover, you know, I don't have a good reason. Perhaps I should go ahead and move forward. The third option could be that they're gonna tell you misinformation, in which case you can help educate them. So for example, perhaps a client says, it benefits me to wait six months because I think interest rates are gonna come down. Well, we know that the people who research the market are predicting that interest rates are gonna stay very close to where they are today over the next several months. Nobody knows for certain, yet that's what the industry experts are projecting. So if they say, something that is actually misinformation, this is where you as their agent gets to educate them and help them make an informed decision, which in that case could help them go ahead and move forward. So again, the two magic questions. Number one, what would need to happen in order for you to fill in the blank? And then number two, remind them of their motivation and then ask them, hey, how does it benefit to wait? Make sure you smile when you do that because you don't want to sound accusatory. <laughs> you want to sound helpful. You want to sound pleasant. Make sure you smile as you ask the question, how does it benefit you to wait? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. And in the next video, we're going to talk through how to uncover the true objection so we can help the client move forward. So I will see you in the next video.